Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. Today is one of those days where I'm sitting here anxiously, anxiously awaiting UPS and I think FedEx to actually show up also. This is going to be something very new and hopefully entertaining for you guys. We'll see how it goes. I don't know if you guys are like me, but ordering things now, I think just the day and age we're in, like, I want it right away. So. I get very impatient, today's one of those days, but it's also because I am just incredibly excited. Let's just sit here, get some work done, and patiently await these delivery drivers to show up. Hopefully it's soon, because it's driving me crazy. So let's get some work done and wait on my packages. FedEx came first, so they're helping build the suspense. UPS coming second. Let's get the first part of this unboxed. Nowhere. That's right. It's now uh, pushing four o'clock. They made me wait all day. Let's bring it in here. Here she is. Let's just get it right opened up. I'm super excited. So this is the bamboo. Carbon X1. This is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. I'm not a 3D printing YouTube channel, so nobody really cares if I'm interested in 3D printing or not, but I absolutely think I am. Would not be the first time I bought something and had to kind of figure it out as I go, and you guys are gonna watch this experience. We're just gonna get this thing set up and I think get to printing. I designed a couple little things in the last couple days. Basically, after I ordered this, I looked around to a bunch of different software solutions. Oddly enough, I settled on Autodesk Fusion. I say oddly enough because I've shared previously that I actually work for Autodesk. Now, that is also not sponsored and there is zero affiliation with this channel and my job. So, I intentionally bought that software full price as anybody else would because there is no world where I want to conflate my YouTube channel with my job. It just so happened to be that I think Autodesk Fusion is the easiest that I found. I basically downloaded trials of a couple different software solutions. Playing with Fusion for just a few minutes, I was like, yeah, I think I get it. The price was right, so I bought it. So this is the glass lid. There are some cheaper options than the X1 Carbon. And if I got to the point where I started doing more than one printer, I would probably buy the uh, cheaper version, which I forget what it is. I bought this one because it's fully glass encased. I have a dog around the house, so I have a lot of dog hair that kind of just floats around and settles on surfaces. And for my first 3D printer, I wanted to make sure that the process was pretty much as clean as possible. So this one might stay in the office, it might go in the garage, I do not know. So I just wanted to get the fully enclosed uh, as I figure this journey out and not have em environmental problems. So I also ordered it with the automated material, whatever, AMS, so I can fit four different spools of uh, different color material on here. But there was enough reviews on this uh, X1 Carbon from Bamboo that basically say it's the, it's almost like cheating. It's like a set it and forget it kind of thing. I want a printer that I don't have to tinker with because I just don't have the time for it. If this is what I'm gonna get into, I need this to be fun. If some of these models I plan on running take a significant amount of hours to run, I should be able to just send it to the printer, not have to think about it. And uh, I don't wanna have to get into monkeying around with filaments and replacing parts and all that kind of stuff as, as little as possible. I'll be really impressed if I could just basically not read any instructions. We'll assume when I turn this on that the bed will lift. Glass top. The automatic material system. I'm assuming that's what AMS stands for. Let's plug it in and see if it fires up. I'm sure it will. This is so cool. I haven't done anything yet and it's awesome. There we go, we're logged in. Now I need to take a break in this video because it's jujitsu time. I gotta go pick up my daughter from school and 
take her over to jujitsu. So we'll come back to this when we get home. Actually, before I left here, it started going through a self calibration. And now it's doing whatever that is. Very interesting piece of technology. So we're back, got back from jujitsu. It's been about an hour. And uh, while I was gone, I was actually able to update the firmware on the phone app, which is pretty cool. It's pretty nice. I mean, it tells you right on the screen what you need to do. I've yet to look at any instructions aside from how to plug in the AMS. I'm assuming this is how it's done. And we will print benchmark. I think is what benchy means. I have no idea. I've heard it referred to. Print ourselves a boat. Oh, that's so cool. Heated bed, new nozzle. And now it's testing. We don't have What is that? Oh, it's There it goes. Here it goes. On the boat. I just stopped to have dinner. I didn't stop the uh, printer still going and watched it from the app, which is really cool. immediately something you can handle to, that's what this is absolutely insane I cannot believe that it prints at this detail and then you can just handle it immediately that is crazy I'm hooked Wow all right, that's crazy. I can't believe what that thing is capable of. And now I designed something the other day as I was waiting for this to get delivered. I'll open up a Fusion 360 and we will see how this prints something that I designed as opposed to a preloaded benchmark. All right, now this is one that I just, uh, loaded the other day, just playing around with layouts. We'll do just one of these for now. Let's go. White. Since I don't have black for the background, we'll just go white letters. Let's send it. Let's go. Oh, it's so wild. Let's go. This is exciting. Lessons learned. Eh, not bad. Definitely not great. My own poker chips. Okay, so I have had this printer now for about a week, give or take, and I have run quite a few parts. I also ran a, well, the original benchmark, which absolutely blew my mind in terms of quality. I've got my YouTube channel poker chip here that I gotta work on that a little bit more. And this is something I am working on actively. Let's see, this is the fifth here of a prototype. And now we actually have, call it probably final prototype verification. And this is actively running now. So we have another four hours of that to run. The beautiful thing about this, which I was not really expecting, it hasn't been all great. There's been some issues. I have a problem with the automatic feeder system. It gets to a point. Sometimes it'll make it up back to the tube here. Oh, reload. So oh, there it goes. I think it actually pulled. Yeah, so now it just pulled a little bit through, but it still jams up. I've reached out to support. It's it's definitely broken, it jams all the time. I actually ordered a replacement part because I was going out of town for work and basically just didn't have time to deal with the back and forth on warranty. So I replaced this uh, hub unit here, which did not solve my jam problems. So I gave it a shot to fix it myself. I do that a lot with warranty stuff, just the hassle of contacting support 
for if it's less than this was less than 50 bucks I think a lot of times I'll try to do stuff like that and just try to fix it myself but did not work I actually ordered this cart specific for this printer because I am hooked now I have built an awful lot of things in the garage cobbled things together just that type of garage engineering I have never actually designed a product in a 3d space sent it off and had it produced. It is such a rewarding feeling that I, I have a very difficult time explaining. It almost feels like magic. It's basically as close as you can get to injection molding, which obviously you can't do in your own home, but to just design something in a 3D space and not even have to get your hands dirty, it just like magically appears in this printer a couple hours later. It's it's crazy. I'll get into another video about what it is I'm doing here. Some of you may be able to figure out what this is, uh, but again, I'll save that for another video coming up in the future once I actually know that what I'm doing is going to work. I have run enough stuff on this printer now to just even see the value of it for myself, and I'm super thrilled to have it. So. Stay tuned, I will maybe update on this Bamboo X1 as I go through a little bit more learning of how this really works. I am by no means a, an expert at 3D printing, but I can tell you flat out, this thing is mind blowing. I, I could not be happier even with the problems that I'm having with the AMS. Other than that, this thing is absolutely mind-blowingly amazing in every way, shape, or form. I, I, I can't say it enough. It's an amazing world we live in. This will be a permanent fixture now in my office. So with that being said, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Just another thing that I'm getting myself into. Really excited about it, wanted to share it on the channel here. So again, thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember likes go a long way to support the channel. And if you have any ideas or things you want me to try to print up, drop it in the comments down below. I'll see you next time.